Hi guys, uh, Willy Creeper here again, and um, struggling a little to think of uh, a decent subject for a video. So um, what I thought I would do is uh, show you how to create your own crispy fired chicken oven. Um, uh, it's just something I have in my world. Uh, there's nothing really re revolutionary in it. But it does mean that I'm I've got a ready supply of cooked chicken. It's probably it's more compact than keeping cows or pigs, um, and uh, none of that breeding nonsense. <laughs> so yeah, let's go and have a look. Um, right, so. From over, move over here. We've got one I finished earlier, and um, there are basic two basic parts to the design you're going to need. One is uh, a chicken farm producing eggs, and the other is the oven. Now, this does auto light, but I'm just going to light it to save time. Um, The idea being that uh, we, if I can find X, I can never find anything in this inventory. Never remember where it is. <laughs> Here we go. Right, so. The idea is you fire eggs up into here, okay, and your chickens drop down there. Now you've got to wait for them to grow up so that uh, they produce, they uh, make drops when they're killed. But uh, what we'll do is we'll just spawn some adult chickens. Like this. With us being in creative mode. So, the idea is you put your egg drop somewhere convenient, either by your oven or I have mine. Uh, they drop at the entrance uh, to my base, so I'm picking them up as I'm on my way in and out. Um, fire them up into there so you get loads of chickens in here uh, when they're grown up push a button push another button feathers and chicken beautiful so we're going to have a look at how to build this uh, we'll start with the chicken farm despite the fact that this is pretty standard. You'll have seen this in a lot of, if you watch a lot of Minecraft videos, you'll have seen a lot of them. Um, uh, now, I'm going to do a, a version more basic than the one I built here. Um, it's going to be essentially the same. However, in this version, I have the eggs carried over a distance before being dropped. And the reason for that is if your base is underground it just demonstrates that you can have your chicken farm somewhere up there and have them drop the chicken uh, the eggs um, <coughs> and carry them to your base so you're not constantly hearing the clucking of chickens at least not in the volumes that the farm will hold so the farm's dead basic not spend too much time on it um, Let's build up away. So one, two, three, four. Four. Now the dimensions are pretty arbitrary um, here. All you've got to make sure is that uh, 
basically, um, we're going to put water down and you want it flowing to a central point. So this can be a square or a one-wide channel like this, it doesn't really matter. Um, however, it's probably simpler to keep it like this. Um, I'm going to place the sign to hold the water. But it needs to be down here, um, or it can even be lower if you want. Um, but it needs to be basically below this level, so that uh, cause if you put it if you put it here, it's going to leave this free. And basically, all you're going to do is going to drop your chickens down into down the chute ch and you want the chickens to stay where they are so here you can see the waters you've got two flowing waters meeting and there there is water above the hole uh, and that's still okay so we just build this up one more and what we'll do is uh, let's do it with grass because just to demonstrate that, um, so in my world, my base is underground, and what I did was I set this up, and then start chucking eggs into here, or just spawn some, and then I'd collect the eggs from the bottom, and next time I was walking by, I chuck a load more in. Um, you obviously want to cover this, um, maybe put a hatch in so that you can get into it, but you don't, you're not going to have other mobs falling in there. Okay, and then when that's done, you can entomb these chickens in there for the rest of their life. Um, there's only so many chickens you're going to possibly want in there. Um, egg drops can be pretty high with 30, 30 chickens maybe. Get quite, get a lot of eggs. There'll always be eggs waiting, for, uh, a stack of 16 eggs waiting for you pretty much when you walk by. So you're going to get those um, pretty reliably. So that's all great. Um, as I say, it doesn't have to drop down. As I demonstrated over there, it can come across. Mine goes down and across and around and over to the door. But if it comes this, if the water, if the eggs are carried this far away, you can't hear the chickens, which is lovely. I couldn't live with that noise all the time, um, and it will be quite noisy because there'll be lots of chickens in there. Now, granted. You'll get noise from the chickens in the oven, but I don't know. There's there's only so much you can do about that. <coughs> so let's build the oven. Right, what you're going to want? Let's lay out the floor plan. Okay, that's good. Right, so. This is uh, based around a pair of blocks, really, a pair of block of netherrack, and a pool of lava. So, obviously, this lava, it takes a while. The lava will set fire to the netherrack, which is good. This is what we want. Um, It can cover around there, um, so that it's not setting fire to stuff around it. Okay, the next thing is a 
a holding area for the chickens. So the holding area um, will be glass fronted so you can see when they're adults and we'll use a hatch a hatch <laughs> yell out if you see it oh I am blind or something there we go a hatch there okay and so we want, we'll have the chicken sat here and fire below them and when we activate the system the hatch will flip up <coughs> excuse me the hatch will flip up the chickens will drop down into the fire to die a fiery death as they no doubt deserve so Okay, so um, then uh, if we just build this wall out a bit, let's have a different block for our buttons just so they're visible. We're going to have a button here and a button here. I'm going to click that. And it's going to activate the mechanism. I'm going to click that, and it's going to close the mechanism. Oh, and there you go. Fire. Brilliant. Okay. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to wire this. Start wiring this up. Okay. So first thing you're going to want to do is wire this up now. The way redstone powers blocks causes some oddities. That's not going to power it. Let me just work this out. And neither is that. So, what we're going to want to do is just pop a repeater in there purely for the processor the to facilitate opening that hatch okay that hatch opens and closes that's fine gives chickens enough time to get down most of them anyway okay so what we're then going to want to do is um, two things we're going to want to push a block over this lava to stop the chickens running into it and we're going to want to push a block over the nether rack to push the chickens forward uh, it'll extinguish the fire push the chickens forward and stop them dying in the fire which will burn up the drops so what we'll do is we shall just place a sticky piston behind this block oh dear. There we go, and we shall place a sticky piston behind this block. There we go. Okay. Don't need that block really anyway. We'll put it back. Okay. Now, this one's pretty easy to wire. We can just bring it around here, and what will happen is. Now, it's very difficult to see, but if we can just uh, get a smaller, there we go. Right, you should just see that block. See it covering the lava there? Just there. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Now, oh, this uh, new version of Optifine is not doing the lag on my machine much good. Okay, so. Um, <coughs> this piston uh, we want to stay extended okay now we'll also introduce another aspect actually we're going to want to stop fiery dying chickens running across our base so we're also going to want to block them off 
So we'll do that with a sticky piston like that. Okay. Let's just replace that grass as well so that uh, it doesn't catch fire. Um, so we're going to want to raise this block up to stop the basically contain all the chickens in this area here. Okay. So that's also going to want to stay up. So we're going to want this piston and that piston down there to stay up, um, giving them time to die. And then we'll use this to reset the system, pulling, retracting both pistons, um, allowing us to get to the crispy chicken goodness. Okay, so in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to set up an RS and all, uh, I can never remember these red t stone terms. A latch um, up. Uh, I'm sure someone can remind me of the correct term. So we do that quite simply. Uh, if I can remember how this is done, uh, I need to move this back a bit. Right. We do that quite simply. With a couple of blocks and a couple of torches and some redstone and some redstone. Okay, right. So and put this up here. Now, what should happen? Now, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put a repeater in here to block any backflowing of current into the system, keeping this powered and whatnot, um, and keeping the hatch open. It's not a big problem, but uh, yeah. Um, but we also want this second piston to be reasonably delayed so that the chickens have time to drop down and catch fire before it fires. So let's do that. Now, if we just uh, simulate some power. What should happen is that this redstone here should stay lit. Okay, now when I take this away, it stays lit. And that's what we want. Okay, and if we apply current to the other side, and remove it, here we go. So. What we can then do simply for this side is we can pull a feedback to our second button. And for this side, what we can do is we can pull some power back this way. Now, thinking about it. I've made a small mistake here. I uh, want to power this piston from there so that we don't get that across like that. Okay, um, there we go. Right, so now what should happen is, or just before I start digging tunnels. Okay, so we say that piston stays forward. I'll click that and it goes back, that's good. So we can get, get on with wiring the other piston. Um, what we'll do is we'll dig down here and put that there. This still works the same, but it allows us to be two down here. It's a simple way to stop it talking with this wire here. Okay. Um, okay, go down two just so I'm not breaking the topsoil up. Oop. Uh, whereabouts are we? Ah, that's too close. So we should be here. Cool. Right, so what we'll do there is we're fine to put wiring under here. Mm, mm, mm. There we go. Good and good. Right. Let me just go reset this rain. I don't know, is it night? Oh, 
Right, I'm going to stop recording and uh, go to sleep to get rid of this rain. Okay, right, so... Okay, okay. <coughs> so, we've got our basic oven there. Um, on, well, cook, reset. Um, what we're now going to need is a handy loading system for getting the chicken chickens in there uh, and what we use for that is build this up so they can't jump out of course you're going to want this to sit above a three high ceiling really um, you can have it as high as you want uh, there sign in this time we do want this the chickens to fall down here so we'll put it on the same level uh, and this side we're going to put the sign in and we don't want the chickens to fall down here so we're going to put it below the in there in the hole there okay just build up a wall to there we go like this okay and obviously we need to cap this off. So just do this out the corners. Now I've found you want this reasonably high to reduce the number of chickens that spawn with their heads in a wall. Um, we'll just leave it there for the moment. I'll drop a drop water first. Because it's quite annoying to uh, they spawn at a reasonably low rate anyway so it's quite annoying to have them actually spawn from their eggs and then just immediately die in a wall okay so that's quite simple and uh, what I demonstrated over there throwing the eggs up there is just boop, 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 fire them all in okay uh, so let's spawn some chickens and find out if I've made any mistakes. Okay. So, um, obviously this is not lit yet. We're going to light it manually, but uh, it will light, and it will light within the time it takes for a baby chicken to grow to maturity. So, but for convenience sake. Okay, so let's cook. Mmm, chicken. And that's all there is to it. As I say, nothing revolutionary, but build one of these into your base, along with one of these, and uh, You'll never have to eat a spider eye or zombie meat ever, ever again, <laughs> um, which is very convenient, um, and I think it's quite nice. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you think, um, and uh, yeah, if you like the video, leave a like, uh, if you want to see more from me subscribe um, and yeah that's all from me thank you very much